Welcome. My name is Tim Meany. I'm an Inside Applications Engineer with Keysight Technologies. And in this video today, we're going to take a look at the Keysight BenchView software and specifically the limit checking features in the DMM Pro app. All right, so let's get started. You can see that I have the BenchView open and we have the DMM Pro app installed. If I go to our bench, uh, you can also see that I am connected to a DMM right now, and this is a 34461A. I also have a DC power supply, which you can see over here uh, is an E3646A, but I'll just be controlling that manually. And right now it's set to uh, five and a half volts. So if we take a look at our instrument setup, uh, I've called out uh, DC voltage, 10 volt range. Uh, most of the other settings here are the default. And over on the data log side, we've set up uh, the data logger mode. I'm going to start data logging with the start button. I've set an interval of two seconds, and we're going to stop just by hitting the stop button. So what we're going to do here to test these limit, uh, the limit testing features is we're going to uh, monitor our five and a half volts. I'm going to reach over and uh, turn up the DC voltage so that it goes beyond our upper limit, and we'll test some of these features here. So when you set this up, uh, you can turn on your limit checking. You can call out an upper and lower limit, and then you have some choices to make uh, on the action that we're going to take when we reach that limit. The first one here, send computer beep, is fairly straightforward. Assuming your volume's turned up and you have speakers, you'll hear an audible beep from the PC. We'll leave that one off for now. Uh, the two more interesting ones here are the ability to send an email message. And when you have that selected, it will send an email to the email address you have called out here on this email notifications tab. The second one here is the ability to execute a batch file. And you could have any number of things that occur in this batch file. It could be uh, you know, something that's going to control other instruments or perhaps relays or uh, really any number of things. Uh, what I did here is, is uh, a real simple batch file which calls an executable that does no nothing more than return our DC power supply back to uh, the five and a half volts that we originally had it set to. So let's go ahead and start our uh, data log. So I'll hit the run button here. You'll see that uh, we're going to start uh, collecting data. And BenchView is, is auto scaling this here at, at a uh, pretty low vertical scale. So I'm just going to go ahead and so we can see this a little bit better. I'm going to turn off the auto scale and I'll select a, a slightly higher range here. Let's go with uh, well, 500 microvolts should work fine. Now, if I reach over here to my DC power supply, and what I'm going to do is turn this up to uh, six and a half volts so that we know we've uh, breached our upper limit. You'll see a brief uh, pop up there. What that was is the, the executable coming up and running real quickly. And what it did is return our output to five and a half volts. If I change our scale here, and let's say we go to one volt per, you can see that we momentarily had uh, a value that uh, went above our limit. So I'll go ahead and stop our acquisition. And uh, just show you real quick what the email notification looks like when that gets sent out. And I'll give you an idea of what my uh, batch file looks like. So <clears throat> this is how the uh, limit testing works inside of BenchView. Pretty straightforward. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.